Good morning, folks. We've got space weather, deadly storms, exoplanets, Mars, Yellowstone, and cosmology papers on archive. Let's get started with our star over at spaceweathernews.com and take a peek at the last day up there. We did get one more cry from the little active region on the north, but that's about it. Solar flaring remains flatlined. The coronal hole dominates the Earth-facing position. We did get a bit of eruptive activity overnight from plasma filaments departing on the southwestern limb. They expanded until the outflow was able to escape the lower corona at the end. Solar wind continues dropping in intensity. We're using ACE here since Discover is unavailable while they stare at more of their data errors. Luckily, it is a calming situation in geospace and the geomagnetic system. We have another two days or so until the solar wind from this coronal hole arrives. The small CMEs off the limb from over the weekend have coupling potential today while this opening connects to Earth, so eyes on the lithosphere until its solar wind arrives. Quick note under Yellowstone. They can't make any statements about timelines, but this is sort of step one. Better mapping of the chambers beneath. The closest words one could interpret were a comment about expecting to find a larger pool. Up next. ESA radar of Mars. They end up arguing with themselves in the link about whether the faint subsurface material is ice or not, but I'll go ahead and put myself and probably Dr. Dunning in the ice category given that we know its atmosphere freezes and drops all moisture at night and then covers it up with red dust, layer after layer. Speaking of planets, this is how most of the scientific world thought of WASP-104b the large Jupiter-like planet in close orbit around its host. That is, until last night when it was revealed it actually looks like this. Albedo profile suggests it is indeed darker than charcoal, which makes it one huge, hot, dark world. We've got a spate of storms to discuss. A few more snow records fell since we last spoke, but a few more cold records, and that is indeed expected to be the case for the coming days, at least as this system moves on. Over in Hawaii, it is a horse of a different color. Flooding has overcome a wide swath of local residential areas. Unfortunately, we are seeing significant damage to homes. The damage is also racking up on the dark matter front. Damp results raise some hopes, but their strongest signal has not been able to be verified or corroborated in Fermi data. That's an enormous hurdle for that project. And while most of the time we are discussing WIMP dark matter searches, the second place in mainstream popularity is the Axion, and they still can't find that either. This is the highest sensitivity test to date as well here. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. It is how these videos come out each day. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.